Welcome back to Super Amazing Wagon Adventure Turbo. My name is Bear Taffy. Last time I got kind of ridiculously lucky. I'll be totally 100% truthful. I got a lot of help from the game last time. They also finally, finally gave me the opportunity to unlock the, uh, the alien. The unusual ship, the alien. And we've also only got a few wagons left to complete the game with. In fact, I think the fantasy might be the only one of the ones I have unlocked besides the alien that I have not completed the game with yet. Everything else got that beautiful- oh, and the coal-fired- ah! Oh, I forgot about the coal-fired, damn it. Well, I'm definitely gonna try the alien today, first, first and uh, foremost. Forced and foremost, yes. That's exactly what I meant to say. Seeing some animals in an upcoming clearing, they hurried ahead on their UFO. To try to disintegrate every being in existence on the planet. That would be the best course of action to take when you're piloting an alien ship. You just want to wreak havoc on the national populace and make sure not to make any friends. Posse of bandits, certainly chief among those people who you would not want to consider your friends. In fact, I would go so far as to say they are your mortal foes and you should dispatch them post haste. That's the story of the UFO uh, up to this point as far as I'm aware. I'll fill you guys in when I've, uh, learned finer details about their existence. Machine gun armed bandit wagon. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to spread this shot or if I'm just gonna have to deal with the, uh... Well, I guess that'll work too. Ooh, I just gained and lost health simultaneously. That was pretty fun. Charles left the wagon to look for wild berries. So far, so good. We've still got the cool beans disintegration ray. It's time to investigate a cave. Give me some supplies in the cave. How about that? Supply filled cave. Very dark supply filled cave, right? Giant bats. Alright, well, let's just start shooting immediately and hopefully going in the right direction. Oh god, alright, well. They are being completely destroyed when I destroy- or when I destroy them. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, bear. There we go. Oh god, perfect. Alright, that wasn't so bad. This is a pretty decent gun, actually. In fact, I'm expecting to get some kind of disease to make up for the fact that this is a really good starting weapon. Maybe I'll get Falcon Bro again instead. <laughs> Maybe he'll just continue to, uh, continue to shower blessings upon me, Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. It's been very kind recently. I hope it doesn't change its mind about that. I don't know why I'm trying to destroy these things. Let's just go ahead and navigate through them as normal. As per usual. Good. Ooh, pirate ship time. Alright. Here we go. I don't know how much damage this is actually doing off every shot. Apparently a lot! <laughs> okay, good. Wonderful. Entered into the Great Plains. So, pretty smooth sailing up to this point. Came across a large herd of buffalo. We're not getting any furs out of this, of course. We still have literally zero. But, honestly, it might be okay. We don't really need to get upgrades. Health is really the only thing I'm truly looking for. That was a really bad maneuver. It's kind of difficult to get through this, actually. This is a uh, slightly more challenging area. They got bored of all the repetitive buffalo encounters, so they sped up. Alright. That's not very good. Maybe if I need to, uh, stay near the top or something. Oh god, yeah, alright, here we go. Okay, this is a little better. This will help me out. Things are actually going really wavy for me right now. I hope this isn't just on the, uh, on the screen here. Oh, goodness. Okay, we're good. Finally gonna get some furs out of all this. I might even get enough to, uh... To purchase a single health unit from a, a shopkeep if I happen to run into one. Sometimes they sell them for 20. Let's see what happens here. It might be for 21. We'll find out shortly. Animal hides, he needs... Ah, oh, Jeez, man. I didn't think it would really happen. Alright, whatever. We'll buy that. We might as well. Distant gunshots. Okay, well, this is, uh... Potentially terrible. I, I think I'm just gonna ignore this. I don't have anything to gain out of that. Apart from, from some hides, maybe, I guess. Oh, Charles looked for a flower for Bear. He'd grown fond of Bear during their travels. Alright. I love you too, Bear replied. Cool! Well, we get health out of it. That's good. Best place to relax inside of an alien vessel. Charles left the camp to relieve himself and waste all of the bow and arrow ammunition. God damn it, Charles. First you fall in love with me, and then you use all of our arrows. Ugh. He's a cruel mistress, that Charles. Uh, I'm wasting a bunch of munitions here as well. Oh, the disease had also spread to the animals. 
Alright. Oh, buffalo time. Oh, shoot. Alright, well... This'll be interesting. I can go grab those two buffalo hides, I guess. Or I can just do this. There we go, that's better. <laughs> Charles couldn't believe what had happened. Or that he'd survived! Or that Bear was into him like that. Charles had the brilliant idea to swim underwater, so we don't really need to go through the desert anymore. And the desert usually kicks my ass, so we're gonna keep swimming. Oh, god damn it! they forgot what they decided to do and end up going around the river anyway. Oh boy, alright, well, wife definitely needs some health, but I suppose Charles doesn't give a damn about that, does he? He clearly has his best intentions in mind. Charles. Ugh. Whatever. It's fine, I guess. Boop! There we go. A hundred vultures made things worse. Goodness. Okay, okay. Let's take this one, actually. This is probably a little bit better to deal with this. That default gun, though, it's still pretty solid. I am not... I am not at all upset about having to use that thing for this entire run. Because that'll work out just fine. I should probably not destroy everything that I don't need to destroy. Scorpions are gonna take priority, of course. Being the only ones that can actually pursue me. Alright, hold on a second. Let's go like that. There we go. Missile launcher is really not that great, actually. Yeah, this'll do. This'll do just fine. How do I even get some furs out of this? There we are! Very good. Very, very good. They noticed some kind of ancient ruin on the side of the trail, and Bear decided to investigate. Did we just get... Did we just get the alien UFO unlocked twice in a row? If I can manage to survive this, Bear is the one with full health right now. My goodness. Alright. Oh, no, this is gonna be the giant ants, I believe. No, those, those usually, uh... Those usually accompany the... The sand hills or whatever it is? Oh, God, the sword. Okay, well, this isn't good. And Bear picked it up, too. I can't really afford to lose Bear, so I guess we're gonna be using a sword for this entire run now. Turned out the sword was some kind of ancient magical thing, so a bunch of ninjas wanted it back. This is usually a pretty, one, or a pretty difficult one to survive anyway, so I may not even make it through this. Just by virtue of how difficult it is. He said as one ninja came out at a time slowly toward him. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Okay, there we go. That's that's more like it. Yep, alright, this is more, uh, more of what I expected. Some of the ninjas had ninja stars. Boop. 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 Ba-doop. Beat up. The sword was cool, but the ninja stars seemed even cooler, so they kept those in Oh, that's cool! Nice! They chose the ninja stars over the sword, I like that. They rushed to avoid the approaching lava. We're getting out of here, man. Wolves burning alive ran out from the lava flow. Stay to the right side. We have ninja stars now. I don't know if I've ever actually picked up the ninja stars when we had the sword encounter. That's good to know, though, that it doesn't always necessarily mean that you're going to be getting the sword from that. Alright, we're going to have the wolves and the lava bombs at the same time here pretty soon. Just gotta be schmock. Gotta be wicked schmock. And then the bombardment intensified. The intensity intensifies. Ooh, that'll work. That's not bad. Oh, jeez, did you know volcanic bombs can be up to six meters in diameter? Wife learned this when she died. Ha! Huh. Oh, shoot. Missed that. Well, that was unfortunate. Could never find some health for Wife Taffy. Thankfully, a, her a hero of llamas. I'll call them a hero of llamas, even though it says a herd of llamas shielded them from the debris. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Let's do that for funsies, too. Distracted by the carnage, they accidentally drove off a cliff. Did we destroy the lava flow when we used the jet? I feel like we might have. That was kind of crazy. I feel like the the lava was gone as soon as the plane showed up. That's a, that's a sentence I definitely expected myself to say at some point in my lifetime. Right there. Oh god, okay, that was a bad move. Luckily, the wagon landed in a river, and now a raft was carried downriver by the currents. So far, so good. We've only got the five health and some ninja stars, though. This is gonna be, uh, treacherous waters. Kinda wish we still had our... our big old fat disintegration ray. At least Bear and Charles can enjoy their love life together. Ooh, this is gonna be helpful. Let's keep this. I'm gonna try to, uh... Ooh, damn. Tight quarters, wow. I'm gonna try to save this for, uh... 
for a very intense moment here. If I can't manage to avoid all the danger. Oh, yeah, just like that. Okay, so Bear's about to die. Maybe I should go ahead and use this real fast, because the Ninja Stars really aren't that bad. Ooh, Bear was eaten by a shark. Okay, I thought I could save myself there, but no dice. All right, let's just keep firing now. Oh, I should have had that missile launcher too. Damn it! Okay, Charles might die here. Oh, God. Charles noticed something on the horizon. It was abandoned on a raft. It seems the bandits had followed him and set up an ambush, and we have sharks in the water as well. This isn't good. This is not good. Bad situation. Luckily, the ninja stars can be spammed a little bit, so we can just go ahead and up and down like that. There we go. Okay, this is working out okay. Actually, this is a better weapon for it. There we are. All right, we got a good thing going here. I'm actually going to try to preserve this ammunition, because what we can do is, uh... Spam this thing as soon as we get to the big boat. Hopefully be able to survive that way. Okay, there we go. Oh, I don't have that much ammo left in it though, so maybe I'll just, uh... Maybe I'll just use it for this stuff. There we go, okay, just one guy left. We're gonna be okay. The bandits had stolen some kind of riverboat. Okay, so we've got a little bit of damage to go uh, early on in this thing. Then we can just spam the ninja stars. We might be able to make it through this. It's gonna be very tight. It's gonna be very, very close. This is not a bad option. Oh, shoot. Kill it, kill it, nice! It's destroyed! Following the attack, the river became calm. Charles reached the coast by himself, left the wagon to admire the sunset. We might have done it. I think we've made it. Let's see if we got... I'm gonna save this ammo on the off chance that something terrible happens at the end. We did it! Okay! Nice! First try victory with the alien. Not bad. Alright, let's go for two. Let's go for two today. Could be my lucky, lucky day again. Perhaps. Bear, wife, and Charles, keep it up. All right, we got the we have the fantasy. We've got the coal fired. Those are the two we have left. As soon as we unlock the golden, of course, we'll be using that one. And then the meta, we'll need to beat with or uh, we'll need to beat the game with all the other wagons before we can unlock that. Actually, how many is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So yeah, you have to beat it with every other one. Alright. Here we go, Fantasy. You know how much I love you, but let's do it, I guess. Give it an honest college try. And destroy all of the livestock again. Because this is just the stupidest gun anyone has ever seen in this game. It's so bad. <laughs> I think this might be my least favorite wagon, man. Let's be... Let's be real, this thing is just so bad. Hey, they saw a unicorn in the clearing, how perfect! The unicorns seem to be leading them somewhere, on the other hand, they needed all the meat they could get. Let's go ahead and say, nay, if you know what I mean. Shoot it! They didn't have time for unicorns, goodbye! A posse of bandits ambushed them as well. See, we have time for bandits, but no time for unicorns. That's a band name, that is a freaking band name right there, you're welcome, you can use that. Some of the bandits could actually aim. Oh, shoot. That's not good. Oh, lord. Wow, I've already lost two health. Maybe I'll never beat the game with the fantasy. That's my new, uh... That's my new 50 days in random mode. Just beating the game with the fantasy wagon. Never gonna happen. Never gonna happen in our lifetime. Bear left the wagon to look for wild berries. He was the only one capable of doing so. Due to his namesake. Bears coming on out. Bear, bears, bears with berries for his bears. Since the last dying breath, a swarm of rabid squirrels was summoned to make sure Bear never beat the game with the fantasy wagon. Oh god. Well, that worked out okay. Bear ran back from the wagon and they reached a river crossing! I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna ju yeah. I'm gonna bite my tongue and then I'm gonna jump. Better than jumping and biting your tongue, because that would be really painful. Jumping away! I'm kind of hoping not to make it to the stratosphere. Okay, that's good. Somehow they made it across, they landed near a den of bears, and the large thud woke the bears. Well, shit. Maybe I should just kind of traverse that area. Usually not uh, the best idea to do a lot of the things that happen as a result of jumping it. Okay, so these bears are not going to just die. Fortunately, I don't shoot directly behind me either. Alright, we made it through. We took, it took a uh, small bit of damage, but... Oh, and then the oxen got malaria. Ah, oh, well. Good. Wonderful. Came across a large herd of buffalo, and they still were unable to get any sort of resources from them. Good God, this is just... This is just an abysmal wagon, dude. 
We're just destroying everything. No benefits at all. The spread shot doesn't even help. Some angry buffalo charge the wagon. Boop! I mean, we can destroy all three of these at the same shot, but still. How helpful is that? I'll answer your question. Zero helpful. As a quantifiable unit. Zero units of help. Fur trader time. Hey, guess what, buddy? We're poor! Because I'm in the fantasy wagon! And my fantasy is not having any money! Ha! <laughs> Distant gunshots. Definitely can't deal with that. I don't want to get somebody arrested because I'm accidentally spreading my bullets everywhere, so let's just go ahead and move forward. A night wife decided to look for a flower for Barry. Hey, that's better. I like wife more than I like Charles. I'll be honest. Here we go. This is going to help those two out. Although, if Charles had found it this time, that would certainly help with my health situation. So maybe I shouldn't be so against a relationship with that beautiful, beautiful man. All right, wife. Let's see if you can survive this. We've done it before. We'll do it again. Zombie apocalypse. Let's go. I just played The Walking Dead Season 1, man. I'm ready for this shit. I've been preparing for this all my life. Well, for the last week or so, I guess. Ooh, this is a much better gun to deal with this stuff. Hold up. Hold up. Ooh, there we are. That's more like it. It seems the disease had also spread to the animals. Oh my goodness gracious. Boop. 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 Alright, this is doing it. This is doing the job. Not bad. I think we'll be okay. These are slow-moving critters, so this is not a terrible position to be in. God, if this spread shot was just a little bit closer to itself... You know, that makes sense, but still. Oh, probably shouldn't have grabbed that there. Wife couldn't believe what had happened or that she had survived. They reached into the river too deep to ford. Hmm. I feel like going underwater may kill me with this gun. But I'm gonna do it anyway because I know that the desert gives me a much lower chance of success. So let's go through here again and face off against deadly piranhas. I might want to go as close as I can in the hopes that the uh, spread effect actually does something valuable, but it does not look like that's gonna happen. Yeah, I can't actually even kill these guys fast enough, so I'm gonna have to play some fancies. Play some fancies here. Wow! A piranha turned Charles into a red spot in the water. Good God. I hate this gun. <laughs> it is so bad. Alright. I wish I could go a little faster here. That would certainly uh, alleviate a lot of my issues. Probably should have grabbed all those piranhas. Take any opportunity I can to get some furs here. If it was a little stronger, maybe it would be okay, but honestly, this is just so bad. So bad. The oxen got freaked out and swam too fast. Kinda wish I did, did a dead sprint for the, uh, health there. But we are going faster now, which means I can hopefully avoid the majority of the piranha, as they'll just swim right on by. Oh, these jellyfish are not helping out, though. There we go. Okay, so we just need to find the, uh, the little gaps we can go through. Oh, that was not one. Yikes. They landed on a small island to catch their breath. And probably deal with dinosaurs, because that's the kind of thing they're into. Oh, wife noticed some very large eggs and fancied an omelette for breakfast. Sorry, sorry for doing what I'm doing. Unfortunately, the pterodactyls lay the eggs. We're proportionally large and we're overprotective of their kin. Of their children! Good God! There we go. There we are. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, dinosaur country pretty soon here. Ooh, nice. Wow! Whoa! Mother of God, it seemed the island had an isolated ecosystem in which dinosaurs never went extinct. As to be expected. Okay, can we make it over there? Nope! No, we can't! Oh, I thought it best to leave the island and continue swimming to the shore of the river. She actually survived. Holy cow. One health left for wife Taffy. They entered a mountain pass. Food supplies were dwindling, so they hunted. Because what they love to eat is just a scalding pile of ash. That's their favorite meal. I know, from experience, I can tell you. Okay, here we go. Oh, good god. Well, at least I can get a little bit more of this ammunition. Pack of wolves smelled the blood. Wife is one hit away from death. There is that one health box I desperately need! But luckily, my gun is going to prioritize a llama over a wolf, because that's what I want. Ah, that's what I wanted. Yep. Ah, that's probably my fault. Okay. 
We did get another health box. They came across a fur trader. We have 40. Which is potentially enough. Wow, oh, never mind. That's a lot. Wow. Do not have that. Probably would if it was a normal run, but... Oh well. The wolves were relentless even during the snowstorm. I predicted something. I'm a genius. Uh, do I want that? I guess so. Apparently so. Uh, shotgun's gonna be a lot better. There we go. Well, I guess it's not that much better. To the side of the trailer saw a dark figure. If it's a woman in a red dress, don't approach her. Oh, hey, look, it's somebody with your exact dress on. And her name is Tina. And she's like you, but with short hair and blue eyes. They were so excited, they accidentally drove off a cliff. Those are some dark blue eyes on Tina. Holy cow. Heard a buffalo fell off a cliff behind them. We're doing okay now, actually. Tina has, uh, reignited our, uh, victory potential here. I didn't want to say spark, because I know some people will get it in the comments, like, Tina! Tina's the new wife, Taffy! Ooh, I'm telling! I'm telling wife, Taffy Bear, you better watch out! She will murder you! Wagon is now a river carried down the raft by the currents. Down the river. In a raft. The wagon's now a raft. The wagon is a river! My wagon is a river! I don't know what's happening. I didn't read. <laughs> I was too busy listening to myself. Oh, man. If only I had a nickel for every time that happened. Come on, now. We can do this. Hey, look, health. That's good. Ooh, look, another one. How fun! This is great! I'm having a jolly old time. There's a lot of boulders in here. It must have been salmon season because there are a bunch of bears in the river. And salmon, but you don't see those. They don't make a difference. Salmon don't make a difference in the grand scheme of things. Uh, do I want to kill these things? I kind of want to save this shotgun ammo. But I have one left, so never mind. Ooh, shoot. Okay, that was bad. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to be able to kill any of these things. I'm going to have to just hope that I get a uh, very easy... Very easy bandits on rafts kind of deal here. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this shit. Here we go. I think I can deal with this. Let's just be smart. Alright. Good. Just keep on firing. Keep on firing. You're gonna miss a few shots. Totally fine. Everybody has their moments. I just happen to have several. A dozen at the same time. No problem. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. The bandits had stolen some kind of riverboat. We have a lot of health, but it's easy to lose it all in the riverboat fight, so... Here we go. Plus we're doing so little damage, so little damage with this gun. Holy cow. Okay. Oh no, oh that was bad, that was bad. Oh shoot, okay. Careful. It's not even gone to phase two yet, let's not lose it all here. Come on, come on buddy, help me out. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That'll do. That'll do the freaking trick right there. Yeah, baby! Following the attack, the river became calm. Tina left the wagon to admire the sunset because she certainly earned it, joining on to the journey 75% of the way through. You can't hit down a seagull with a missile launcher, Tina. What the hell are you? What are you even worth? Soon there would be more wagons heading down the trail. We actually did it! We did it with the fantasy! Wow! All right, two more victories today. That's pretty sweet. Thanks for watching this episode of Super Amazing Wagon Adventure, everybody. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Appreciate that a lot. My name is Bear, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!